that's wrong with Let them go all and only Poppin guys, you already know who it is, man. It's your boy Z. So we're checking out episode five and six of The Last Dance, man. And this documentary has been on point. Like this has been fire so far, but this kind of goes in depth. And the thing that I like about it is how they're actually getting the players to do like interviews and kind of give their opinion on what, you know, occurred during their careers. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna do any talking. We gonna check it out. If in fact this is his final NBA All-Star game, it's a perfect place to make a last statement. On the verge of a repeat three-peat. Kobe Bryant, meanwhile, the youngest All-Star in history at 19 years. Kobe! Well, I've been talking to him. It's the same thing as a 19-year-old kid. So you know what they said? Kobe, you ready to be the man at the All-Star game. Give me 40 minutes. Yo, Larry, Bo Larry Bird was a head coach? Yeah. You get in the mail, you don't have anything. Keep it out, make that extra pass. Somebody should be wide open for a three. Okay? Well, we're here, we might as well win. Oh, you you win. Just like I used to come at both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Just about tip-off time at Madison Square Garden for the 48th NBA All-Star Game. And there you see Kobe Bryant. So, yo, guys, um, for y'all that were alive at the time, did Magic Johnson leave the NBA because he had HIV or AIDS? Oh, that was nice. That was nice. I grew up watching Michael. And but but I mean I'm not gonna lie. Like if you got Magic Johnson money, I highly doubt he still has it in his bloodstream. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, I'm willing to put money on it. He he doesn't have it in his bloodstream at this point. And everything that I'm saying is alleged. You know what I'm saying? Got the ball in his hands again. To Garnett. Oh. What you get from me is from him. I don't get five championships here without him because he guided me so much and gave me so much great advice. <laughs> Yo, man said, I know I'll be there. Allow him to have his trophy if he promises. This is the last time I'm going to be playing here. Oh, that's a fly suit that right there. my favorite place to play. Yo, that suit is fly. Yo, I like that color, man. I have the old pair of Jordan 1s. I first met Michael Jordan in 1984. I actually went to North Carolina to interview Michael and his family to represent him. We took him out to meet Converse, which at that time was the official shoe of the NBA. The Converse weapon. That's the shoe that magic do what he was born to do. <laughs> Yo, guys, the, oh, 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 guys, you know what's funny? Like, imagine trying to play ball in some Converse, like some low Chuck Taylors. You, your feet are going to be bleeding by the end of the night. But... What I'm just thinking about now is if Jordan were to go independent back then and he retained full ownership like he wasn't under Nike, do you know how much money he would be worth? He probably would have been a billionaire before the year 2000, probably during his NBA years. Maybe, maybe. But the point I'm trying to say is like, that's why someone like LeVar Ball caused such a disruption because you could tell that people were looking at what he did and they're just like, yo, like... He's finna change the game. Didn't he change that, like, for NCAA players, like, they could get paid off their likeliness? LeVar Ball plays a big role in that. But the whole point of me bringing that up is just to show that when you, like, retain ownership of, like, your likeliness, bro, you're gonna make a lot more money as opposed to you being up under Nike or Under Armour or Adidas. You know what I'm saying? Expectation when we signed the deal was that at the end of year four, they hoped to sell $3 million worth of Air Jordans. In year one, we sold 126 million. Yo, whoa, 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 guys, 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 come on, man. Come on, man. D do you guys see what I'm saying? Do y'all see, did, did y'all, like I said, if Jordan owned the rights to, to, like, if he wasn't under Nike, he would have been a billionaire as he was playing. But people were calling LeVar Ball a fool. Come on, man. Wait, come on, man. Come on, man. Do the right thing. I'm a brand new white Air Jordans that I just bought. How much you pay for them? A hundred bucks. American dollars. A hundred and eight with tax. I mean we are back at Madison Square Garden. Michael Jordan wearing the original Air Jordans that he wore the first time he played at Madison Square Garden back in 1984. By halftime, my feet are bleeding. <laughs> but I'm having a good game. I don't want to take them off. Michael. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> Guys, no one's doing layups like that. Like I said, man, no one does that. And when, you know, when I took the shoes off, my sock was soaked in blood. You know, it's kind of fun to come back here and play in, in, in. Oh, oh. Jordan with the block. And then the save. Game than the rest of us. He let us play, but he was there to win the game. Yo, my man shot the free throw with his eyes closed. Once he figured that out, you couldn't beat him. The two best in the game, but I'm not getting into a war of words with Mike. Clyde was a threat. You know, I'm not saying he wasn't a threat. But me being compared to him, I, I took offense to that. <laughs> Yo, man said he took offense to that. Yo, my man saying, yeah, he's cool and all, but like, he ain't on my level, bro. He, he glanced over at me at the NBC tape. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> now there has been speculation that your icy relationship with Isaiah Thomas is the reason that he was not selected. How you like that ass kick when we get you? No, 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 no. Come on now. <laughs> After the game on the line, who would take the last shot? Me. That's a dumb question. Me. <laughs> But now second round the Chicago Bulls select Tony Kukas. Tony certainly uh, uh, an outstanding young prospect. I also think that he's an outstanding young man. <laughs> Coach King played by Pippen. And Kukos put to the reverse. There's George with a step on Kukos. Oh. Kukos. It's me and Michael, but every guy on that Olympic team looked at that kid and felt like he may not even think about coming to the NBA after he played against us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they lost though, but damn. Now, how are you going to beat that team? He won the 90 figure, but really cultural figure in the world. He was really a global superstar. Everyone around the world knew Michael Jordan. Yo, Michael Jordan's one of the few dudes that actually looks really good with no um, facial hair and bald. You know what I'm saying? Not many people can pull it off and still look good. NBA record 62,046 fans packed into the Georgia Dome to see what may have been Michael Jordan's final game in Atlanta. Damn! And right now, if we had enough... Damn! Yo, my man was a whole demigod, yo. Yo, my man Prince. Ha! Yo, Prince was my dude. Yo, what, what's that song? Um, Maybe she's just like my mother. What's that? Yo, guys, let me know what track that is in the comment section below. That's my track right there. It's funny. A lot of people say they would like to try to be Michael Jordan for a day or for a week, but I don't think they quite understand. It's no fun. I think I think what people don't realize is that from the moment Michael Jordan leaves his hotel room, the spotlight is on him. To perform. Damn. He knew that everybody for every game was there to see him. While the early reports have brought a flurry of denials, players giving out sensitive information to the press is one surefire way to cause a division within the team. I didn't contribute to that, and that was Horace. Oh my gosh! No one's doing that, man! That era that you would consider Michael Spears at one two in a row, Isaiah at one two straight, Magic at one two straight, 
but none of them won three in a row. Both clubs going at each other. Michael Jordan and Xavier McDaniel having words. Double technicals were called on the game. <laughs> when I was coaching the Knicks, I told the team, you can't let them duck on you. Oh! Officer playing the Knicks in the conference finals. That's come down to this. Game one of the eagerly anticipated best of seven Eastern Conference Final. Of course, is that oh. the first round? He is brought up by Anthony. <laughs> oh, the calls are very upset. In the second game in the series, they were stepping things up and really physical. <laughs> In sports, the Chicago Bulls are down two games to none in their playoff series with the New York Knicks. So let's say, let's get away from New York City. Let's you and I go to Atlantic City. We got a limo. We went and gambled for a couple hours. We came back. $1.2 million as a result of gambling on their golf matches. Damn. Yeah, Richard Esquinas. We met from a third party. You know, I'm actually playing golf with people all the time now. People build you up to tear you down. And it happens in sports all the time. If, if a team wins too much, you want them to lose. Barkley. there was a better basketball player in the world than me, to be honest with you. <laughs> Damn. 55? and going back to Phoenix. So I just say, look, man, I don't know about you guys. I'm only packing one suit. We're going back to win one game. I'm not going there to play two games. Oh! Yo, that's my dude Paxson, yo. I have no problem losing to Michael. Losing to Michael, there's no shame in that. It's not just the positive talking that you hear. You hear some points, uh, some people taking shots at you, and that really changes the whole idea of uh, being out there for people to uh, to see you. Yo, guys, um, like I said, man, this this series has been fire. You know what I'm saying? I haven't done a series since Cobra Kai, so for me to you know do this whole documentary for me. It's dope. You know what I'm saying? I've done a lot of first episodes, but I noticed that this is the one that... This and... I might continue Prison Break. You know what I'm saying? That video didn't do well. If that video... Again, like I said, if that video hits 10,000 views, I'll continue that. But regardless of whether this does well or not, I'm finishing this um, whole documentary up. You know, so shout out to Michael Jordan. Shout out to Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Isaiah Thomas, Charles Barkley. Everyone that was in this um, documentary so far. But uh, I'm going to be out of this thing, man. Holla.